the old Cuba Club, Miami and Havana, a Calliope and Armando Ruiz presentation. The 16th century Plaza Vieja, Old Square of Havana. Square is a plaza located in Old Havana, Cuba. The plaza and its surroundings are also one of the seven neighborhoods of the municipality of Old Havana. It is a residential population of more than 17,400 inhabitants. From the 16th century, the city council decreed the establishment of this square, but it was not until the late 17th century that, the then identified as the new plaza, flourished almost spontaneously. It emerged as an open space in 1559, after Arms Square and St. Francis Square respectively, although there are some authors who point out that it was the second plaza in Havana. It was a residential area for the Creole plutocracy during colonial times. This new square was conceived in a regular form based on the dimensions of the lots adopted in the town. The square was then to adopt the rectangular shape that characterized the Havana site. The final result was a trapezoidal space that maintained the proportions originally proposed. Another distinguishing characteristic, in comparison with the American squares, was that in that space neither a church nor government buildings would be found. It was built as a popular alternative to the armed square, the military and government center. The name changed when another important square in the city, Christ Plaza, emerged. The urban architectural complex of the old plaza is represented by valuable colonial buildings of the 17th, 18th and 19th centuries and some examples of the early 20th century. The old square was the site of executions, processions, bullfights and festivals, all attested by the wealthiest citizens of Havana, who watched from their balconies. Daily life in the old plaza has many attractions, both for Cubans and tourists who visit the capital of Cuba. There are numerous activities, such as street theater, shows, music, plastic art demonstrations and circus acts. The area of the square is bounded by the streets, Murala, Mercators, 
to 90 Ray and San Ignacio. The square represented the first planned attempt to expand the city. It constituted an area used for different modalities, as a residential, commercial and recreational zone, without having religious or political military constructions. Some of the streets around the old plaza Since the 17th century, the first two-story houses with large portals had begun to rise on the square. the old square in the 1700s. In the 18th century, the construction with them quickly transformed the plaza and between 1729 and 1756, nine portals were erected which accompanied the consolidation and maturity of a type of manor house equipped with porches, hallways, mezzanines, high rooms covered with Moorish ceilings, white stairs and inner courtyards with galleries. House of the Count of San Juan de Jaroco, 1737. In 1709 the first fountain in the city with a circular bowl, designed to supply water to the market was conceived. It was located in the center of the then new plaza. The fountain was built at a cost of 6,500 pesos, paid by the council with the help of the governor and, a branch of the royal ditch was conducted to the plaza to supply the source. House of the Count of San Esteban y Conjongo. Don Jose Agustin Valdez and Pedroso. In the 18th century, the plaza was converted into a popular market. In 1814, with the birth of the new market of Christ Square, it was renamed the Old Square to differentiate it from the newer Christ Square.
between 1905 and 1908, a multi-story building with an elevator and a ground floor, built on iron columns was erected at an angle, in the plaza. It was built under the direction of the master builder Arturo Marques. The decoration of the facade, conceived initially in an eclectic style, became during the course of the work an expression of the art niveau. La Vitrola Cafe, named in memory of the thousands of paid record jukeboxes that used to work in the country during the 1920s, 30s, 40s and 50s. Some of them, privately owned, still function for entertainment. Restaurant Café The Holy Angel Founded in the first decade of the 1700s, the house, now occupied by this restaurant, was owned by the Laranaga family and Susana Benitez, the Pariaho, who then decided to establish the University of the Holy Angel for poor children in this place in 1866. Since 1932, the restaurant has shared its space on the top floor with the St. Amelia Conservatory of Music. Cafe and Guest House El Escarial. Hotel and Pub, La Muraya. The popular Sugar Lounge. Hostel and Café Bohemia, in the heart of the plaza.
Don Eduardo Alegre Bar. The br The brewery, offering a wide range of Cuban beers and other brands. The brewery offers a variety of dishes, hamburgers, brochettes, paninis, oven-cooked sausages and other dishes for lunches and dinners. Photo Library of Cuba, former home of Don Juan Marta. A trip to the stars. The Planetarium of Havana, Old Square. Part of the Science and Technology Center of Havana. This is just a little bit of history and places to visit at Plaza Vieja. The old Plaza of Havana, 16th century. Havana celebrates 500 years of history and culture in 2019.